everyone, I'm here to do another unboxing video for you. And before we start, I want to apologize that I'm in a hoodie. I know I'm normally a little bit more dressed up for these things, but at least it is my Tarot Summer School hoodie. So representing Tarot Readers Academy. But I was building displays for the shop today. So I was getting a little dirty with the power tools. So that is the wardrobe thing. But today, I have a lovely package from overseas and this is really really exciting to me um, it's another Instagram find and it is the sacred wild oracle deck <gasps> dear Jennifer sacred wild blessings with lots of love happy little feather and oh beautiful she sent me a bag of crystals what do we have in here oh my god okay so we have some clear quartz it's beautiful blue and oh my god this awesome green and some citrine and amethyst and a beautiful green thing that I cannot identify and some rose quartz and I think this is verticrosite I could be totally wrong but oh my god this is so beautiful Zoe thank you thank you thank you oh, and the colors in those are a preview of the colors that are abundant in this deck so oh, beautiful little sacred wild oracle box and here it says there's magic all around us if we only choose to see it living each day more sacred and wild so oh they're teeny I didn't know they were gonna be wee so here is the back of the deck, the little, these are so little and adorable. So yeah, so here's the back of the deck and it's really pretty. I'm going to turn it like that so you can see. And you have, so here we have embrace the sacred, be mindful, fully present and embrace the feeling of gratitude. Next up we have free spirit, dare to dream your biggest dream and take a leap of faith toward it. Next we have balance, night and day, dark and light, yin and yang. There's always another side. How can you keep balanced? Healing powers, give yourself time to heal, rest, find stillness and nurturing time to retreat community unity a sense of community sometimes we work better with others it is okay to ask for help to share with others we are one I love the photographs in here and the drawings and then the text below so next up we have elements fire embracing the energies of fire the spark of life, ambition, burning passion, creativity, rebirth from the ashes. Next we have elements air, embracing the energies of air, ideas, inspiration, communication, aspects of the mind. You are the crystal. You are a crystalline being. You radiate out energy. What are you sending out into the world? Do you need to change your thoughts? Oh, so that is really cool. Stuck and stagnant. Are you living your best life? Or have you settled? Are you compromising something? What can you do to get back on track? Elements. Earth. Embrace the earth energies. Grounding, nurturing, healing. A time for physical action. Elements, water, 
Embrace the energies of water, cleansing, clearing, renewing, a sense of motion, movement, and flow. Connect to your emotions. Time in nature. Get outside and surround yourself with nature. Nothing gets you back in the flow quicker. And I'm loving the fall colors in that. Um, the leaves are just starting to turn here, which is really cool. Dreams and resistance. Are your dreams starting to bring up some resistance? Good. This means you are on the right path. Don't let the inner critic stop you. Divine spark. Release the ego. I am not this body. I am the divine spark within. Shine your light. Do not dim your light. Embrace every part of you, no matter what others may say. Be brave and have the courage to be different. Be you. Nice. Feeling connected. Connection. The gateways are opening for you. Keep your connection. Trust that it will guide you forward. Sacred space. Make time to relax in your sacred space today. Be still, reconnect, and listen for guidance. I love that crystal there. Very pretty. Living in the flow. Don't forget to have faith and dance on the breeze. Be playful and free. Do you feel the winds of change? Give yourself permission to leap. Meditation and grounding. Are you feeling grounded? Take time to work with your lower chakras to fully ground yourself back to this earth. Feeling gratitude. Embrace the feeling of gratitude in your body. Let it fill up every cell and radiate out of you. Thank you, beautiful universe. Intuitive guidance. Are you thinking with your head or your heart? Take time to listen to your intuition and trust its guidance. Growth. A time of rapid growth, a surge of energy, a lot going on in all directions. Know that this time is propelling you forward, a steep learning curve. Hidden depths. Perhaps a time of indecision, feeling heavy. In murky depths, it's hard to see which way is forward. A step in any direction is good to get you moving again. This one, it's a little hard to read. I kind of wish there was more contrast between the word hidden and some of the dark background behind it. That's in a couple of cards I've noticed that, but overall it's not a huge problem. So next up is Sacred Wild Soul. There's magic all around us if only we choose to see it. Are you choosing to see the magic? Pay attention. Don't let it pass you by living each day more sacred and wild. And finally, abundance. A sense of accomplishment. You're in the flow of abundance. Can you feel the excitement within? Time to celebrate life. Very cool. It is an adorable little deck. I am loving the size of it. And I'm thinking that it might be a nice travel deck because it is um, but it's, it's very cute. Um, the vibe that I get off these is similar to the moon deck. So if you liked the moon deck, this might be a nice deck that would work well with that. Um, I just got the moon deck and haven't really started working with it a whole lot yet, but these feel similar. They have similar energies to them. Um, the card stock on this is excellent. It's really thick for these teeny little cards and they have a beautiful like matte coating. So that feels good. Um, very excited. They have a very loving healing energy that I'm excited about. So that is the Sacred Wild Oracle.